We know Berryman's Chem Dip works for heavy cleaning jobs. Chem Dip also costs around $30 a gallon, and if all you're doing is cleaning the varnish out of your carburetor, it's extreme overkill. This is John with FixYourDirtBike.com, and this is how to clean your carburetor with Pine Sol. Right off the top, there are two things to know when cleaning your carb with Pine Sol. One, soaking takes at least a day and up to two if your carb is really gummed up, so plan accordingly. Two, soak your carb in a sealed container away from your workspace. As you'll see in my video, I am using open containers to show what's happening to the carbs. Now my shop is filled with a thick lemon scent and my eyes are burning, so learn from me. Start by completely disassembling your carburetor. Pine Sol will eat rubber and plastic, so make sure you remove the bowl gasket and float valve. You will only need to soak the carburetor body, so set everything else to the side. Get the body as clean as possible before you soak it in Pine Sol. If you soak your carb straight from the bike, you run the risk of contaminants floating around and clogging your circuits, which would defeat the whole purpose of the soak. The Pine Sol soak is meant to clean the varnish buildup from the internal circuits, not a one-shot cleaning solution. I am cleaning three carburetors with different degrees of blockage. The first carb is off my KTM 300 that I recently swapped for Electron, so this carb will not be going back on the bike, but I do have plans for it. The second carb is off my 97 Honda CR250. As you can see, it has a bit of varnish buildup on the idle circuit intake. If you can see varnish on the outside, you can bet it's gummed up on the inside. This varnish is a typical result of letting fuel sit in the carb for a few months. The third carb is an extreme case. This carburetor came off a drowned ATV that the previous owner never bothered fixing. I don't know how long ago exactly, but long enough to get this. This carb is extremely corroded, and I wanted to see just how far Pine Sol would go, but I wasn't expecting much. Surprisingly, I was able to disassemble everything except the slow jet and float valve. You will need a soak bucket, a rinse bucket, compressed air, and WD-40. Soak your carb for 24 to 48 hours. Every 12 hours or so, pull your carb, let it drain, and replace it in a different position. You're probably wondering why a household cleaner works for cleaning carbs. Well, Pine Sol isn't as harmless as it seems. If you look at the material safety data sheet for both Pine Sol and Chem Dip, you will find both products use similar active ingredients in different concentrations. Pull your carburetor and rinse thoroughly in water. Aggressively agitate your carb in every direction to clear as much Pine Sol as you can. You never want to use water to clean your carb, but this is an exception. With your carb rinsed, blow compressed air through every hole you can see from both directions. Once your carb is dry, hit the internals with WD-40 to make sure the circuits are completely voided of water. You can get a good idea if your soak worked by looking at the used Pine Sol. The left container had my KTM carb and the right had my CR250 carb. As you can see, the CR250 carb was pretty dirty and the Pine Sol did its job. As for the ATV carb, well, that's a lost cause in Pine Sol. Judging by the weight, this is a cast metal carb, so the white corrosion was actually white rust, which is what happens when zinc is exposed to hydrogen and oxygen. This creates zinc oxide, which eats away at the metal as it forms, so the Pine Sol didn't do much to remove it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or on social. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.